Now, when you're in the course, I would like you to uh, go over the syllabus. With, syllabus is uploaded onto uh, the link under on, uh, the tab under the syllabus. So once you open the syllabus, uh, you should be able to get all the details about the course as to the book that is required. This is the same book that is custom made for 304 and 305 as well. You are required to have the connect access in case you bought it for 304 in the summer. Uh, you should be able to use it for 305 as well. The course is linked to connect from D2L so you can log on to the connect McGraw-Hill connect through D2L and that would be uh, through your code and uh, your email address. You can follow the instructions over there. The course objectives and uh, the topics that are going to be covered. So you'll go over investments, current liabilities, bonds, uh, ta income taxes, accounting for taxes, leases, pensions, etc. So those are the topics that are covered. Half of them will be tested in exam one and the other half from 15 to 21 in exam, final exam. Your courses, you'll be evaluated based upon 1,000 points total, out of which 40% is for the two exams. Rest is divided between homework on Connect, quizzes, Excel assignment, Learn Smart. Only one Learn Smart assignment is of 15 points and one of the narrated PowerPoints is not there. So that's why this is 45 and 105. So total should be 1,000. Your grade would be based upon if you score between 900 to 1,000 points on all the Connect assignments, uh, it's an A, 18 to 989 will be a B, and so on. Each of the exam, as I mentioned, is 200 points, narrated PowerPoints for five points each. Narrated PowerPoint assignment, you will go through the PowerPoint assignment and uh, there will be some practice tab. You click on the practice tab to answer the questions. In the Learn Smart assignment, also there are questions that will pop up uh, which uh, you can answer. Homework problems and the quizzes uh, are about 15% of your grade each. No late assignments will be accepted and uh, there are Excel assignments which will account for 15% of your grades. 10 of them are there. So hopefully you understand how you'll be graded on this in this course. Also at the end you have been given a timetable or a schedule which you can follow. Uh, to keep it simple, everything before the midterm, which is on 28th, everything is due before on 726. On the night of 727, you will not have access to the, the material on the first five chapters. After that, the next five chapters are due by 8-8 and uh, your final exam is on August 10th. All access to the material will be closed at the night of August 9th. Thank you very much and good luck to you.